there is no room to defend or deny anything that we are currently told about his actions. Like, not for nothing, a lot of us don't know this man. So far, there is conclusive evidence that supports that he is an abuser. This is a story we're going to be talking about for weeks, but it sounds like Jonathan Majors is a real-life villain. If you read the article, they're describing how there is visible injuries on this woman. <laughs> There's an old saying that goes that truth is stranger than fiction. And guys, I guarantee you by the end of this video, I will prove exactly just that. So what is it that we're talking about here today? Jonathan Majors, famous Hollywood actor, was accused of DV, domestic violence. And I've taken the time to do the research to look at the case. And it's absolutely insane. And guys, listen to me. I want you guys to watch the entirety of this video. As you come of age, you have to be able to understand what can become of you if you do not practice discernment, especially in modern times today where you are guilty until proven innocent. This is Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard 2.0. Jonathan Majors was arrested Saturday morning in connection to a domestic dispute in a New York City apartment with a 30 year old woman around 1114 a.m. in the morning. Police responded to a 911 call in a Manhattan apartment where a preliminary investigation found that the 33-year-old actor and woman were involved in a domestic dispute. Take note of preliminary investigation. That's where they determine that you're guilty until proven innocent. Nevertheless, Majors was arrested on the scene, even though he called the cops and held on suspicion of strangulation, assault, and harassment after a woman told police that she was assaulted, according to the police statement. She was transported to an area hospital after suffering minor injuries to her head and her neck, police said. Priya Chandri, who's John Majors' criminal defense lawyer, later told Insider in a statement that Majors was the victim in the altercation with a woman that he knew. Chandri said that Major's team was gathering and presenting all the evidence to the Manhattan DA with the expectation that all charges will be dropped imminently. Now this evidence includes video footage from the vehicle where this episode took place, the witness testimony from the driver and two others who saw and heard the episode, and most importantly, two written statements from the woman recanting these allegations. The lawyer wrote in a statement. Now indulge me for a quick minute. Let's think through the timeline of events here. Man calls the cops on woman. Police intervene. Police hear a woman allege assault from that man that called the cops. Man gets arrested. Man gets charged with six counts of assault and three counts of harassment. In the court of public opinion, man found guilty until proven innocent. He was dropped from his management team, he was dropped from his PR team, and he was dropped from ad sponsors and a slew of movie roles. Majors was dropped from the US Army's Be All You Can Be ad campaign. Now, it's been reported that Majors has been dropped from the protagonist pictures movie, The Man in My Basement, as well as Otis Redding's biopic that was also in the works. Additionally, Majors has been cut loose from another ad campaign for the MLB Texas Rangers baseball team. He was also scheduled to star in an upcoming biopic of Dennis Rodman's career. Now that is also up in the air as well, although I think that is probably a good thing. So of course, across the internet land, we had a split of opinion and it was really just two separate camps. Either you were in much more of the feminist, I can't stand men, if not hate men, bandwagon where you said, damn, Jonathan Majors, we thought so highly of you. You were in the top of your career. Why would you do such a thing? Down with the man, lock him away and throw away the key versus the other side of the coin, uh, which is the much more logical. Hey, there's two sides to every story. Let's hear his side of the story first before we prosecute any further outside of the law. We just went through Amber Heard and Johnny Depp Bitches be lying. While I think he's a talented actor, there is no room to defend or deny anything that we are currently told about his actions. Like, not for nothing, a lot of us don't know this man. So far, there is conclusive evidence that supports that he is an abuser. This is a story we're going to be talking about for weeks, but it sounds like Jonathan Majors is a real-life villain. If you read the article, they're describing how there is visible injuries on this woman, 
and that was enough grounds for the police to arrest him. The woman in this situation is okay. Um, from what I hear, she's in the hospital, which is really scary. We should believe women in situations like this. I really hope that all of the people who are involved in projects with him do the right thing and get rid of him, regardless of how it affects the best laid plans of mice and men. With tweets from famous Twitter feminists getting over 1.7 million views saying dropped by his PR agency during an absolute legal and PR nightmare? Oh, they won't defend the man? I wonder why. Rumors that Marvel is looking to recast? No more evidence leaked to prove evidence? And it's been quiet for weeks? Jonathan Majors did more than just that one incident. I'm betting on it. As if within her feminist mind, she simply cannot fathom why a man doesn't receive as much support as what women do, or can't fathom the concept of guilty until proven innocent. This heathen then goes on to say, completely unsalvageable. Not that it should be salvageable, but he deserves all of this. But knowing the way the system and industry is built to support abusers, him reportedly getting dropped and left at every corner is alarming. I'm saying is Jonathan Majors got more press in one day mm -hmm. in his first 24 hours of this incident mm -hmm. with almost no evidence he was guilty of got more press than a school shooting mm -hmm. that, that clearly shows that the American media has a voracious appetite of destroying masculine black males. Mm -hmm. they and you also had mainstream publications such as this gem mm -hmm from Rolling Stone magazine hopping onto the hate bandwagon with an article entitled Jonathan Majors Extreme Abuse Allegedly Goes Back Nearly a Decade. I'm not gonna bore you with the specifics within the article, but there's things that have happened within his life like altercations, which all of a sudden have bubbled up now. I mean, what man has not had altercations within his life? There's also actors alleging bad behavior while he was on set. Jonathan Majors declines those allegations and says that it was method acting, meaning he was playing his role even when the cameras were off to maintain the persona. Yeah, so, um, how do y'all feel right now? I'm just wondering, how, how do y'all feel right now? No, 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 I mean, for real, it's a question. How do y'all feel right now? <laughs> like, bro, so many of y'all just just up here running y'all damn mouths, bro. Just just running it. We should always believe the woman in this situation, right? Because, I mean, after all, women never lie about being abused, right? They never lie, especially when there's a mountain of evidence against the man. I said this before in my last video. Y'all have learned nothing from this man's trial. Y'all have learned nothing. And not only this man, but also this man. And this man, oh yes. Some of y'all probably don't even know about the allegations that were against Stan Lee. But I mean, maybe if you took the time, did your research, listen to all the facts, listen to the whole story, stop believing the woman, just stop believing just everything you hear, the victim, maybe, maybe you would know these things. <laughs> Bro, he looked goofy. <laughs> we should always believe the woman in this situation. The really funny part about all of this is not the fact that he's innocent, which I already knew. If you use your brain, think about it logically. Like, bro, why would he do? He's just coming up in his career. Why would he do something stupid like this? It doesn't make any sense. But the funny part about all of this is about to be the switch up of it. Like I said, oh, I always believed him. I love Kang the Conqueror. Let this be a lesson to y'all. Because obviously y'all didn't learn from Johnny Depp. So please learn from Johnny Majors. Let this be a lesson to y'all. Stop listening to the victim. Hear the full story, get the full facts, and then open up your mouth. So mind you, the police were originally called to Jonathan Major's home on March 25th. He since then appeared in court multiple times. One of those was with his now girlfriend, Megan Good, but we're gonna get into that in a separate video. And now his trial date is set for August 3rd. But before that trial date, Major's lawyer wrote a letter to the judge alleging exactly why the charges should be dropped. And we'll go through some of that right now. Here is the actual letter. It's a long read, but I'll summarize it for you guys. So we'll start here. Ms. Jabari, who's the terrorist in question, claims that Mr. Major's assaulted her in the 
car in Chinatown around 12 a.m. on March 25th. During that incident, Mr. Majors broke her finger and lacerated her ear. We have proof that this is a complete lie. The driver of the car saw and heard everything. And he will testify that Ms. Jabari attacked Mr. Majors in the car and Mr. Majors did not strike or hurt her whatsoever. And hours of security videos of Ms. Jabari after she left the car prove that she did not suffer any injury in the car and certainly not at the hands of Mr. Majors. As the court will see below, after Mr. Majors ran away from Ms. Jabari, who physically attacked him, she was perfectly fine and completely uninjured. In fact, the Thought Rocket went clubbing, got drunk, I added that in there, she didn't say that, sent Mr. Majors angry text messages accusing him of infidelity, sent a self-deletion note to Mr. Majors, took a bunch of sleeping pills, and then 11 hours later, found alone in a locked bedroom, unconscious on the floor of a closet with a cut behind her ear and a broken finger. She sounds like a lovely, lovely young lady. Upon waking her strumpet ass up in a state that caused the paramedics to request a psychological evaluation, Miss Jabbery had no idea why she was on the floor of the closet, why her finger hurt, or what happened to her ear. At no point between Mr. Majors running away from Miss Jabbery and Miss Jabari returning to the bedroom did she have these injuries. Now guys, I'm gonna leave a link to this letter down in the description box down below. One of the reasons I don't wanna continue to, to go through it is because of how violent that it actually is and it goes against YouTube monetization guidelines. But after reading this letter and knowing that they have documented evidence, they have videotapes and they have witness testimonies, not only from the driver in that car that was driving them home, but also from the bartenders at the bar when she was at the club earlier. And speaking of being at the club, remember before when she said that she had a broken finger? Well, this is security cam footage of her three hours after she claimed the incident took place. That's her right there. And that's her right hand being used effectively to go up the steps. And here are the alleged text messages that she sent to Jonathan Majors after he was arrested. Please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assured me that you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. I'm so angry that they did. And I'm sorry that you're in this position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told him it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I only just got out the hospital. Just call me when you're out. I love you. Then she follows up about three hours later. They just called me again to check on me and I reiterated how this was not an attack and they do not have my blessing on any of the charges being placed. I read the paper they gave about strangulation and I said point blank, this did not occur and should be removed immediately. The judge is definitely going to be told this. She ensured this to me. I know you have the best team and there's nothing to worry about. I just want you to know that I'm doing all that I can on my end. I also said to tell the judge to know that the origin of the call was to do with me collapsing and passing out and your worry as my partner due to our communication prior. Out of care, she promised all of this will be relayed. And still, even after seeing this text message that was sent to him, the response on the Twitters and the TikTok is, oh, how much of a monster he must be in order to manipulate her so well that she's accepting accountability for his abusive ways. What? So where does this leave us all today? Well, in a striking turn of events, Jonathan Majors files domestic violence complaint against the alleged victim. In the complaint, Majors claimed the drunk and hysterical woman caused him pain and bleeding after the alleged assault, according to Insider, which obtained a copy of the report and a sworn affidavit. The actor also alleged in the report that the woman had attacked him in previous incidents, though he said he did not file reports in the past. Majors also accused the woman in question of stealing his iPhone and spending somewhere between six and seven thousand dollars on his credit card following the incident. So you're gonna get the brother locked up, you're gonna steal his way of communicating 
and also charge up seven grand on his credit card, you mangy bitch. So the case is scheduled for August 3rd, and guys, I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on. I think this is gonna be another Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard or Amber Turd scandal. And if I could say anything to Jonathan Majors, it would be this. Let the lawyers do the talking for you. Remain strong, remain masculine, remain stoic. Take the rules out of Johnny Depp's playbook because he nailed it perfectly. You let them talk long enough and they'll tell on themselves to the extent of not one single feminist believing her bullshit. And that's the goal. But to my audience, I want to say this. Guys, within Jonathan Major's situation, you guys don't think that there was any red flags that he knew of before engaging with a young thought rocket like her? Do you really think? I tell you guys, ad nauseum, if a girl play fights with you in the dating stage, when she all got into a relationship, that play fighting will turn serious when they've been drinking, when their emotions get out of line. Never delete your texts, never delete your call logs, and put cameras in and around your crib because the documentation will serve as an insurance policy should the bullshit ever occur. The older, the more mature, the more financially stable, that you get within your life, the more discernment that you need to have with women in and around your area. The analogy is like this, like as you get older, although you make more money, you need to eat less food that you can buy with that money. Why? Because you need less calories as you get older, your metabolism is slowing down, and if you don't make that change, you'll start to get fat over time. Well, the same analogy or example applies in life. As you gain more money, as you gain more status, as you gain more power, more access to women will be upon you. But at that time is when you need to practice discernment with these very women. And it's sad that it goes like that, but that's just the way it is. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep track of developments as they go into the future. Keep locked to the channel. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me over to tourism reviews at gmail.com. Last but not least, guys, if you want to support me, I got a Patreon, patreon.com slash MTNR. Or if you guys want to join the Discord server, go to mtarmy.com and beam up. Links to them both down in the description box down below. Until next time, YouTube. <sighs> I pulled my back. I'm getting old. Peace. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Bars on your phone, tell a man you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Bars on your phone, tell a man you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. Dead bars, need a fibrillation ASAP. Get boxed with a straight gap. I'm reminded of my state they lack. Every time that they climb, we go way back. All they wanna be is just.